And I don't know why it's so hard for me to just skip that. Like I know width and height, but for some reason on here, it just, I just, I can never get it right which one goes where and I'm always putting it in the wrong place. Welcome to Candice Lynn TV. Today I'm gonna to show you how to slice in Cricut Design Space using your iPhone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Start off by going to Fonto and then click on the camera in the middle at the bottom and then plain images. Then you're gonna click on the plain white square on the right side at the top. And then you don't have to change the size, so click on the little icon and use and save. Then you're just gonna put in the text that you wanna use. So I'm gonna start off with the letter R and I'm gonna choose from these mini free texts that you can use because Cricut Design Space makes you pay for them, but fonts so you can get fonts for free. So I'm going to take the letter R and center it and then I'm gonna change the color so I can see it. Doesn't matter what size it is on here because Cricut Design Space will let you change that, but I'm just moving it around and changing the size and then I'm gonna save it. Then I'm going to do the same thing for Rylan, which is the second part of the text that I wanna have on the item that I'm making. Now you can go into Cricut Design Space and click on New Project. Once you do that, you'll be able to upload the things that we just made on Fonto. So click Upload, Photo from Library, and pick the images that you want to upload. At this point, you're just gonna edit them by removing the background. So you can click Remove and then click on the screen on the parts that you wanna remove. Make sure if you're doing any letters or anything that has loops that you do click on inside those loops so that you can remove that background. Then you're going to save it under any name. I'm just naming this R. And then it's going to be there for you to insert it. And then I'm going to basically change the size so that I can make sure that it fits the item that I'm gonna put it on. I've already measured the toy chest that this is going to go on. So I know what size I need it to be. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the word Rylan that I made, and I'm going to go ahead and upload that and insert it. Basically following the steps, steps, remove the background, save it, insert it. And then I'm going to size that the way that I want it to be. I don't want it too big. I want it to fit perfectly in between. Um, you're gonna see where I put it, so you're gonna realize why the sizing matters here. You don't want it too big where it's taking away too much of the R where you can't tell that it's still an R in the background. And you want to make sure that you put it in a perfect placement so that it, like I said, it does, it still looks like an R in the background. So that's what I'm doing here is just sizing the word Rylan. I don't know why it's so hard for me to just skip that. Like I know width and height, but for some reason on here, it just, I just, I can never get it right which one goes where. And I'm always putting it in the wrong place and then I always have to switch it. So that's what I'm doing here is just sizing Rylan so that it fits perfectly into the space that I'm going to make for it when I do my slice. Now I'm gonna click on shapes and I'm gonna choose the square and then I'm gonna change the size of that so that it, this is gonna be the part that's gonna be removed from the R above. So this is when sizing still comes to play. You gotta make sure that it's not too big and that it's gonna be able to fit in the perfect placement that I want it to fit so that when I slice, it still looks like an R behind the Rylan when I put it there. So that's what I'm doing here is just sizing up that square so that it fits perfectly and I'm gonna place it here to see if maybe I need it, make it smaller or if it needs to be bigger um, just making sure the sizing fits perfect to the letter R that I have. Now that I have my square in the correct placement, I'm going to group these two items together by dragging my finger over the screen and then going to actions and then clicking on slice. That's gonna remove anything that's behind that square and I can also move the square and that extra piece that's left there. So now I have a blank spot to fit Rylan and I'm gonna see if it fits. And it, I think it does, I can't remember if I had to resize it, but I think it does fit there perfectly. And that's basically what we do. That's all you have to do to slice. Okay. 
So I did have to resize Rylan. I wanted it to be a little bit smaller so that it's not touching the R behind it. So that's what I'm doing here and making sure that it's still in the correct placement that I want it to be. I just don't want it touching the R behind it so that it's not any issues and it's not overlaying on it. So now once I have my design complete, I can now make it. But for some reason when I did this, it put it on two different mats. So I'm gonna show you how I put it on the same mat. So you click continue and this is showing that it's on two different mats. You click on the three little dots and it's gonna show you what mat it's on and you click on which one you want it to be on. So it put both of my um, designs on the same mat. And the reason I want this done is because it'll be easier for me to read it out if I'm doing the same color vinyl and easier for me to place it if they're basically on the same thing and they're in the same position that I want it to be on my um, toy chest because I want them to be centered. I don't want Rylan to be um, to the side or anything I want them centered and once I have that created on the same mat then I can follow the instructions on here so basically changing it to what I need it to be which is vinyl and then you upload your mat and you basically just follow these steps and so simple I showed you how to slice and how to put your mats on this well designs on the same mat so go ahead and like comment and subscribe and watch some more videos